We all know that the quality of our sleep affects the quality of our day, but it goes beyond that. So the poor sleep will affect our skin, affect our hormones, affect our physical and intellectual performance. You'll be less creative, you'll be less patient, you'll be more prone to gaining weight. Who wants that? Here are five simple things you can do today to improve the quality of your sleep and so improve the quality of your day and your life. Stimulants, so coffee, black tea, energy drinks, stop drinking them at about 3 p.m. What? I know it sounds mad, but did you know that caffeine stays in your system for so many hours? About six hours after you had your caffeine intake, you still have half of the caffeine in your system and it lasts there. It's there up to 10 hours. So do the maths. If you have your last caffeine cup at 3 p.m., you will still have some at 9 p.m. and beyond. So try to make a point and not drink stimulants beyond 3 p.m. Get rid of the blue light at least two hours before going to bed. So that means no laptop, no phone. I know, sounds mad. What about Netflix and chill? Well, so if you cannot do two hours without screen before going to bed, try at least 30 minutes. So watch that movie, watch that series, and then half an hour before hoping to fall asleep, read a book or listen to music or listen to podcasts, but try to do something that's not overly stimulating for your brain and that doesn't require screens. You can also use that half an hour time to do simple stretches and twists to help your body unwind, help your muscles unwind, help your nervous system unwind. Super simple. You can do something like this. Twist on the exhale, back to center, inhale, twist on the exhale, same for your neck. Remember, your neck is part of your spine as well, part of your body. Super important. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Do simple side stretches. You can rest your hand on your ear. Let the gravity do the work. No pushing, no forcing. You can take it deeper by bringing your hand on the other side. And do the same with your torso. So ground your hand and then take the other one over overhead and use this hand to ground the opposite hip, okay? So you're doing this, instead of like coming all the way up, just ground your opposite hip. Breathe into that. Another one, stretch your shoulders, move your shoulders. So a few simple circles. And then to stretch like the area in between your shoulder blades, you can either, depending on your range of motion, depend what's available to you to, today on that day, you can either just hold your elbows and like bring them forward. So like you're widening your back, you're widening your shoulder blades. Or maybe you're giving yourself a hug. In which case, in both cases, remember to alternate different elbow on top. If that feels comfortable, do cactus hands and transform them into eagle arms, Garuda Sana arms in Sanskrit in yoga. And breathe into that. And again, elbows go forward and slightly up. This will be quite intense. Breathe into that. And you can bring chin to chest or look forward, whatever works best for you. Next one might seem obvious, but it's definitely not. Check your bed. So is the mattress good for you? Is the mattress good for your spine? Is it not too hard, not too soft? Check your pillows. Again, are there support in your neck? Remember, neck is part of your spine. Check your bedding. What material is it made of? The more natural, the better. Check if they have Ecotex certification, which means that the material is non-toxic and is good for your skin. Next one, get your legs up the wall. I absolutely love this one. After an entire day of sitting and standing when the blood has to work against the gravity, now you're helping it and working with the gravity to get into your organs, oxygenate them, nourish them. It helps your nervous system to calm down, your brain to calm down. So how to do it? Super simple. You can either rest your feet on your bed or put them higher up if you bring your hips, your butt closer to the wall. You can also place a pillow underneath your heels if they're hurting and just stay here for five minutes, 
10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever works best. And then just roll yourself onto your side and rest on your side before you get back to vertical. Or just roll like straight to your favorite sleeping position. So this is it. I am Kat from Cheeky Yoga Club. And if you found this video helpful, interesting, insightful, please let me know. Drop a comment below and I hope to see you soon.